Hey everyone, it's Princess Asura. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be telling you guys how to thoroughly clean your behind. I know it's a weird topic, but trust me, it needs to be discussed. So let's get this video started. For me personally, when I'm in the shower, my behind is one of the last things I clean. So the scenario is, it's coming to the end of your shower and you want to clean your behind. The first thing you would want to do is rinse. Rinse with hot water. The reason why I'm saying hot water and not cold water is because I kind of feel like hot water is actually burning things away and faster rather than cold water because it's too cold to really have an effect. And of course, it doesn't have to be burning hot water. Just use whatever you can handle. Even if it's warm water, it's better than cold. So I recommend just rinsing for like 15, 20 seconds. And when you're done rinsing, it is now time to use your washcloth. Based off of my personal experience, washcloths have been the best thing to use to clean back there. In my trial days, I have used other things such as loofahs, I've used those exfoliating gloves, just everything that doesn't actually thoroughly clean it. Anytime I use an exfoliating glove or if I used a loofah, it did not work out. I know it's kind of obvious why would that work out, but there are people out there that are using that and I am here to tell you to stop because a washcloth will change your life. I don't really know how to explain how, but a washcloth does the job way better than anything else. And please, please, please do not use your hands. That's not doing anything for you. Trust me. Okay, so first you want to rinse your washcloth. And then I recommend using a nice, thick, lathering, creamy soap. What I like to use is Dove Sensitive Skin. Dove has plenty of thick lathering soaps, so I recommend that brand. But of course, there's thick lathering soaps in other brands as well. This body wash is nice and smooth, and it has a nice glide on your body. You don't have to use a lot to get that effect. Whereas for some thin soaps, you have to use a lot to try to get that effect on your body. I'm saying all this because your behind is actually sensitive, so you want to be as gentle as possible when you're cleaning it. I've used thin soaps to clean back there, and of course since it wasn't thick enough, there was a lot of reg to skin contact because there wasn't that thick barrier in between. And what happened, it got irritated and back there got cut. You can also cut it and of course make it bleed when you scrub too hard. So you have to make sure that you're gentle with your scrubbing as well. And trust me, you don't want to risk cutting it because the next time you shower and you put soap to that cut, it's going to burn and you're not going to have a fun time until that cut heals. So you want to put a good amount on there and then what you're going to want to do is bend over because if you stand up and try to clean it, you're not going to clean everything properly because it's closed. So you want to open it, so you have to bend over and scrub gently. I usually do two rounds and I'll do a minute per round. And then I'll finish each round rinsing it all off with hot water. If you want to feel fresh, be clean, and be odorless after doing a number two, this is what I do. First, you want to skip only using toilet paper because trust me, it's not doing you any justice. When you only use toilet paper, you might think it's cleaning you, but it's really not, and there's most likely still an odor there. The first step to cleaning it properly is by using wipes. I suggest using flushable wipes. I get these flushable wipes from Walmart. If you're already using wipes, that's really good, but I'm sorry to break the bad news to you that when you only use wipes, sometimes there might still be an odor. To make sure there's no more odor and I feel clean and fresh, I use these no rinse cleansers. So they're by Smith & Nephew. This is a moisturizing cleanser and then this one's a personal cleanser. They both work really good. I recommend. So I got them from Amazon and I will leave the Amazon link down below. So what I do is I take a wipe and then spray the cleanser on the wipe a couple times and then I'll wipe the area. Then I'll take a new wipe, spray the cleanser on the wipe again a couple times and then I'll start scrubbing gently. And then I'll keep grabbing a wipe, spraying the cleanser on it and scrubbing until I see nothing on the wipe. And again for the cleanser, you don't have to rinse it, you don't have to dry it. It dries quickly on its own. And just to let you guys know, if you're using the washroom and you're getting skid marks at the back of the toilet seat, that is not normal. If that is happening, that's simply because you're not cleaning back there properly. 
And I've heard people say it's normal to happen when you're doing a number two right in that moment. That's when it happens. That's not possible. Because if you're doing a number two, everything usually goes down into the toilet. It doesn't run up and then print a mark at the back of the toilet. I believe that's just because it was already there because you didn't clean your behind properly. So if you are dealing with that issue, I hope you actually consider using my tips because it will help. So that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.